Alright guys, now in the previous tutorials we had seen how to insert documents into collections which are present in a database. Now in this video let us have a look at how to retrieve those documents. So we have the database called company and in company we have the collections collection called employees and we have documents inside employees. Now let's see how to retrieve those documents. Now the command to retrieve documents is db dot employees which is the collection name dot find and that's it so when you execute the command you get the list of documents now one thing sorry two things to point out though the first one is whenever you insert a document into mongodb it is automatically going to insert this field called object id so this MongoDB's way of uniquely identifying a document. So if you do not specify this field, it's going to insert one on its own. If you do, then it's going to take that value. Now the second thing is employees.find doesn't actually retrieve data in the following structured format. It's actually going to be in a different way. Let me show you how. So let's get back to uh, command prompt. I have typed Mongo. I'm in the Mongo shell. And I'm going to type db dot employees sorry employees dot find so this is how data or the document is generally retrieved when you just use db dot employees dot find if you want the data in a structured format then what you want to do is db dot employees dot find dot pretty that's right, MongoDB provides a pretty command. So, when you execute that, you get the data or the document in a structured way. Now, the next command is, suppose we want to retrieve just one document from the collection, then the command is db.employees.find1. So when you do that, MongoDB retrieves just one document for you and employee ID is one so there's the first document in the collection. Now find one doesn't have a pretty but find does. Find one already has the prettier format when you execute it. Now let us look at how to retrieve or query documents based on certain conditions. Now the first one is equality condition. Now, suppose we want to retrieve employee whose employee number is 2. Let's see how to do that. The command is db.collectionemployees.find. Now this time find takes a parameter, so flower brackets, and we want the employee number, employee number, to be equal to 2. So when we execute the following command, we get the employee whose employee number is 2, the document related to employee number 2. Now what if we want, say, we want to retrieve the data of all employees who have age less than 30. So to, do, to do that, employee number is age, and we have to specify $LT. So LT stands for less than and we say 30. So this means that find all the employees who have an age less than 30 in the employees collection. So when you go ahead and execute that, we get two documents and both of them have an age less than 30, 27 and 26. Now suppose if you want to retrieve employee data of age less than or equal to 30, just add dollar LTE less than or equal to 30 and then run it. So we have 30, we have 27 and we have 26. Similarly if you want to retrieve employee data who have age greater than 30 then GT which stands for greater than 30. Just execute that and we have age just to verify here just age 40, 32, 45, 33, 36. 
and if you want to add the equality greater than greater than or equal to 30 then just dollar GDE and control shift enter and we have 30 along with the rest of the H now the last condition would be not equal to servers we want to retrieve all employees who are of not age 30 then just say dollar and E and run this so we had 27 40 32 45 33 36 26 so this is how you retrieve documents from a database you use the find method to retrieve the documents and you add the pretty command to get it in a more structured way and if you want to retrieve just one document we use the find one command and if you want to select documents based on some condition we can pass it as a parameter and the find method so thank you for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video